Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gravity's Devlog. Uh, yesterday, if you were watching the stream, I I was coming, I was having this problem where I was trying to create these ice balls, uh, which are these new projectiles that stick to the player, and I was using a pin joint, and it was just ending up with strange uh, behavior that I didn't like. Let me show you. So you can see when these things connect to the player, it, it all works, right? It connects, but you see how they're rotating weirdly? And these are placeholders, right? This pink with this yellow arrow. Uh, the pink with the yellow arrow is a placeholder art, but it just shows me how it's not rotating the way I expect. And it looks, it just looks strange. And the reason for that is that a pin joint uh, connects the two objects, but it allows them to still rotate freely independently of each other. It's like, uh, it's like the pin joint is like a, a bearing, you know, like a ball bearing that lets it spin. So after doing a little research, I realized what I really want is a fixed joint. And there's a proposal for a fixed joint in uh, Godot in the GitHub somewhere. But I, I can't wait for a proposal, so I just went ahead and made one. So I started with the pin joint, and I added some code to it. And what I did was I made a subscene out of it. So if you click on this thing, uh, you can see it's just a regular pin joint 2D, but it's got some extra code attached to it. And here it is. Uh, so the code basically just takes two bodies, right? And, you know, normally with the pin joint, you have node A and node B, and you can assign them, but I needed to do some extra stuff. So I just created a new um, API method here that I can call, and I can pass in both bodies, and it does all the things I need. So it connects the two nodes, which is both halves of the pin joint, which is fine. And if I left it like that, it would be just a standard pin joint. But what I also wanted to do was take the uh, relative rotation and position of the uh, of the second body relative to the first body and save that. And I have that here saved in this uh, variable. And then I connect two signals, uh, one for each body. Uh, it's the tree exiting signal. And what I want to do is just make sure I disconnect the joints when either of those bodies starts to leave the tree. Because what I was seeing was... Um, if if I connected this to the player, for example, and the player was destroyed, the game would crash. And I think that's because the node was still connected and the physics server was still trying to do this math of keeping the, the pin joint working, even though one of the bodies had disappeared. So this handles that situation. It just disconnects both joints if, if either body starts to exit the tree. Then the magic happens here in the physics process. If there's a node B connected, it gets the uh, object uh, that is referenced by node B. Node, node A and node B are what are called node paths. They're essentially just string paths to the objects. So this gets the node. If the node exists, then it gets the angle, and then it updates the rotation based on the angle to that um, object and its rotation fix, which I, this is that relative rotation that I, that I told you about earlier that we capture when we connect them. And then it updates the rotation of the parent of this pin joint, of the fixed joint, to this new rotation so that it looks correct. And then here's my disconnect function, which is called by these signals. So with all that in place, here's how it looks now. You can see it, it's rotating correctly. It looks much more natural. It feels much more natural. And uh, yeah, it's working the way I expected and the way I want it to work. So now the nice thing about having this as a uh, separate scene is I can connect it to other things. So I can just delete this, right? Now there's no joint. I can add in a pin joint if I want to, you know, have the old behavior or I can add in my fixed joint. Boom. Done. Right? That has all the functionality I need to make a fixed joint. And then to use it, I just call connect bodies when I want to connect two things together. And this object, the ice ball, doesn't need to know how this works. There's no code in here related to it except for this where I just connect the joint. And all the code for the fixed joint is actually here encapsulated in this scene. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.